Hi, I'm Shane McCoy with Graves Motorsports. Today I'm here with our 2012 Yamaha R6 and we're going to install a Graves Motorsports slip-on by removing the stock exhaust and replacing it with the Graves canister. Okay, now I'm going to start the bike, allow you to hear the exhaust stock and then after when we're done so you can kind of compare the two. Okay, we're going to start by removing the black heat shield and the bolt that holds the canister to the foot pad bracket. Next, we're going to remove the noise reduction cables from the motorcycle. And in this case, we have an aftermarket piece, another piece from Grace Motorsports called the X-Up Eliminator. We're going to locate the motor and install, remove it and install this piece in its place. And that way you don't get a check engine warning light due to the fact that the noise reduction cables have been removed. Okay, so once you've removed the X-Up cables, you're going to follow them up and undo them from underneath the shock tower. And since the assembly's gone, your bike's going to get a check engine warning light. So the, this module removes that warning light. You're just going to plug it in like so, and then take the two-sided tape and affix it into the motorcycle in here so it'll be out of the way. Now that we've got the reed of our assembly off, we're going to remove the canister. And you're just going to take this bolt off basically down here, remove the clamp and just gently slide this until it comes off. Now we're going to take the Graves Motorsports exhaust canister, slide it into place. You're going to reuse the stock exhaust gasket and we've got the bolt here. The clamp that comes with the Graves exhaust is going to be reused. You don't use the stock clamp. So you're going to check this out and then basically you're going to take the white plastic wrapping and install our rubber gasket and slide it on very gently. Don't tighten everything until you've got the assembly together because you want to make sure everything lines up before it's tightened. So um, our next step is going to be I'm going to remove this and slide it on and we'll move from there. So now we've got the canister loosely mounted. We've made sure the exhaust bracket lines up and we're going to go ahead and tighten the exhaust bracket down. We're going to use the nut that came with the Graves kit and then the factory bolt. Just take your time, make sure everything remains secure, and then after we tighten this down we're going to make sure that we check because we don't want to use any more than uh, 14 foot-pounds of torque on any of the bolts. Once you've got everything secure you're going to want to make sure that you wipe off the exhaust canister completely. Titanium will leave um, when you start the bike, titanium will actually leave grease thumbprints and different things, you know, from the oils in, in your hand. So you're going to want to make sure you clean everything off. That way it doesn't start and leave those markings into the exhaust. So just give it a quick wipe down, check everything out, then you're going to start the bike and test it out. Okay, now that we got everything installed, we've wiped it all down. We're going to look at the fresh, clean look of it. And uh, we're going to start the bike and let you hear the difference. These canisters are pretty similar to what we use on our actually race bikes. Uh, you can buy the Graves full exhaust system or for the people that want to keep the rest of the assembly and just want to purchase an economical slip-on, they can do like what we've done today. And just remember that we use the X-Up Eliminator to get rid of the air light code. You notice when we turn on the bike we don't have an air code because of the we closed off the circuit with the Graves module. They work really nice they're, and they're really effective. So. We appreciate it and visit us at gravesport.com, www.gravesport.com.